Well, sports started here at Denier High School in the 1920s with, with baseball and, and basketball. It's a little, little bit easier to fill teams because they're smaller. Our first football team was in 1946. I think we only won one or two games that year, but uh, it was a start. Denaire has always had a strong athletic program. Students come here oftentimes to play sports. I think that we have moved from a caliber of um, good to really a caliber of being very, very competitive. Our football team, as you may have heard, has had some success this year and it's been uh, an exciting time on campus, uh, which helps build community spirit, team spirit, school spirit. For so long, if you're you kind of getting kicked for a while, you kind of start to believe it and it kind of takes something to happen to kind of spark that hope again and see like, no, man, we actually do have something pretty special here. And, and they start to realize what they actually do have. And so I think that's kind of what we're at right now. We're kind of on the upswing and it's an exciting time to be around here. They go out, they do their job, they work hard and they have just won. And, and they're very humble about it, you know. You don't, there's no one star, you know. They're always saying, well, I couldn't do this if so-and-so didn't do this for me. This group of boys uh, is a good group of kids on top of being good football players. So uh, we, we had a good idea that they might be able to accomplish something special. I think that this is our ultimate turning point in our high school. It's been a long time coming. I've been coaching for 10 years and this is the best moment. This is a start to a new beginning. We are out of the slump and we have turned around. And this is our launching pad to greatness. We make um, a white chocolate mocha, that's our most popular. Caramel macchiato, latte, Americano, and then we have a whole assortment of tea and detox water. Most people think it's just we're selling coffee. It's much more than that and it's going to grow. I try to minimize what I do as much as possible, so the kids are pretty much doing everything. The week I was gonna pull out a business loan and go for my dream, I was gonna go pull out like a $60,000 business loan and just, hey, let's hope it works out. And Kara emailed me, said, hey, we heard about your idea, we love it. Um, if you come work for us, we'll fund the whole thing. Thank you. I was like, well, what is the car going to represent? What, what are we all going to be about? And um, kindness. That's what I really want to push out there. I just wish everyone would be kind to everyone. So I was like, we're serving coffee. Let's serve a cup of kindness. I like to get four of the number one and one hot chocolate with that one. One of the things that we've been working on is being able to take back our 18 to 22 year old students in special education in their transitional program. Um, and we applied to that through our, through our county SELPA and that was unanimously voted on that that um, will go in front of their board to be voted on. So if that happens next year, we'll be able to have a direct impact with our 18 to 22 year olds with a, pro, uh, with a curriculum called Project Life where they learn transitional skills and they're employable. So that's dramatic for us to be able to get our own students back and be able to teach them to be able to get a job.
Okay. He speaks so much more. Before he used to kind of just point to stuff he wanted, but now he'll actually come up to us and hand us his sippy cup and be like, I want milk, or he'll go to the fridge and say, I want cheese, or I want snacks, you know? And it's just big steps like that that it's like, wow, like, you know, I'm actually helping teach this kid something. I'm helping him grow. There's a lot of hard work that goes into him, but it's all gonna, it's all gonna work out, and it's gonna be so beautiful when he can talk and do all these great things. I was thinking about going into psychology, but after working with my cousin and seeing like Mr. Moore and all the other uh, paras and stuff like that, I've actually decided to go into speech, hearing, and science. I want to become a speech pathologist. Just seeing all the different people out there in this world that I can help, I decided that that's what I wanted to do. Everything, you know, it's come from Denaire. Denaire born. So when you left in May, one of the things I don't think we really highlighted on was we put more students in college last year in May than we have um, done in quite some time, so we were really excited about that. I mean, the campus is pretty huge, <laughs> like I, I underestimated how big the campus was. I believe there's over 25,000, maybe over 30,000 uh, students. I walk into my chem class, there's about like 600 kids when I'm opposed to like having 30 kids in my class and I'm like, whoa. I always told people like, don't be afraid to get out of your comfort zone. Um, and that's something like that I always lived by because the sooner you like start kind of getting out of your comfort zone, the better off you will actually feel and maybe you can make an impact in somebody's life. The main reason that I wanted to, that I want to become a vet is because I know how attached you can become to your pet um, and like if something were to go wrong with them like it's like it could mean the world to you like if somebody could just help you out like make them feel better and extend their lifetime. The classes, the friendships you make here, how much support faculty here gives you, it really helped me to, like make a transition going to UC Davis. I don't think there'll ever be a day where there's I don't learn anything new from being there. I can't make a prediction <laughs> on what's going to happen. I think it's going to be a hard battle. They put 11 on the field, we put 11 on the field and we play. And that's, to me, that's pretty much that it. It doesn't matter if there's, they're a school of 1,200 kids and we're only a school of 300 kids. We're still putting 11 kids on the field. This group of kids and our coaching staff is not only they're good coaches, good players, they're, they're good people. Hi everyone, I'm Terry Metzger, Superintendent of Denaire Unified School District here in Denaire, California. We are so excited to host our state championship for football tonight. Nobody's complaining about the rain. It's absolutely fantastic. You know what, if anything, it's making a party atmosphere tonight. There's 10 coaches on staff, both levels, and you know I'm really excited because I've been fortunate to coach eight out of the 10 that are on the staff right now.
these students are, are not just athletes. These students are students first, and I think if you were to talk to anybody in our community and the teachers here on our campus, they would be able to say to you that the reason why we're able to launch at a high level is because our students are academically proficient now. Whether we're 0-10 or 10 or 0, you know, that's the way we've always coached and that's the way our kids have always played. We want to be a class act on and off the field.